Hey, what's going on, Libras? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do your February read. Uh, it is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. Uh, for all you cross-watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Um, I'm going to use the Tarot of Dreams. And with all that being said, let's get it. Universe, what is going on for Libras? What message do we have for Libras, Universe, for February 2024? What can we see for Libras? Libras. So the first thing I, I'm seeing, Libras, is I feel like this is someone. There is someone that's already close to you. You know, this is someone that you already know. And I, it is someone that I feel like you have, you know, I, when I say close to you, I, I mean, I feel like this person is someone that's already in your life. This is possibly someone that has a friendship with you. Um, but I feel like this person looks at you in a different way. They look at you as, as something more than just a friend. And I, I feel like it's... I feel like you've done a lot for this person. Even even things that you don't even know you've done. You know, because I feel like this this person's energy came to you almost feeling defeated. You know, and, and I feel like there had been some heartbreak with this person. But I feel like you gave them a new perspective. You know, just being around you, I, 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 I feel like they, they really, you really helped them get past it. And then when I say heartbreak, I don't necessarily mean a past relationship heartbreak. I, I'm just getting the fact that this person wasn't completely whole till they met you. You know, the, feeling a little bit broken. But I feel like you, you allowed them to free themselves from that, with that devil card. You know, you inspire this person. You know, gave this person new found hope. You know, with that Ace of Wands, that that new inspiration. Um, and then on top of that, I mean, this person is, is looking forward to the future. They see potential where they didn't see it before. I mean, it's almost like you have this calming effect on this person. You allow them to be open. You know, you allow them to open up with that Eight of Swords in reverse. You give them a sense of balance that they never had before. You know, we have that justice card, finding balance in the situation. You, I mean, you're bringing a lot of big changes to this person's life. And like I said, I don't even feel like you realize that you're doing it. You know, it's this harmonious energy that's overtaking this person. Um, you know, I, I feel like you're exactly what this person needed. You know, that ship that they were waiting for, uh, I feel like that's you. You finally came in. You know, and like I said, they're seeing they're seeing you as more than just a friend. You know, they, they want that energy that you're giving them. They want that to continue. They want that to be a, a, a staple in their life. Now, like I said, I mean, I feel like this person thinks about you and only you. 
You know, you became very important to this person over time. And now you're all they think about. Now with this person, like I said, with those changes that are coming with this person, um, you know, I, I feel like there's this calm, this calmness that they never felt before. And, and it, what in that calmness with that tower in reverse, you know, the, the water is settling, smooth sailing. That's what they're feeling. You know, and this is a bond that they're they're not going to want to break. They feel a bond with you that's a lifelong bond. And it's more than just a friendship. Like I said, it's, you know, that nurturing energy, that caring. You cared when no one else did. They're seeing you in a way that no one else has. So it's not just you bringing things to them. They're bringing things to you. You know, I, I feel like this is, this person... They find it very easy to talk to you, find it very easy to say things to you that they never said to anybody else, anyone else. You know, we have the eight of wands, that open communication. And, you know, we got that nine of cups, that emotional fulfillment. You know, I feel like this person really brings something to you as well. I mean, I feel like this person goes out of their way to make you feel good because you make them feel good. And I don't want to make it sound like they're only doing it because you do it for them. What I'm what I'm saying is that you do something for them that no one else did, and they're gonna do something for you that no one else has. You know, I I feel like this person. I mean, I feel like they're always they're very complimented complimentary. You know, they're always complimenting you, always noticing changes in you. Like, you know, if you change your hair or if you, you know, get something some new clothes, they're always the first to notice it. Because they're really, they really have their eye on you. And like I said, I mean, this is something that... I mean, there's this really strong connection. I mean, this person sees you as someone they, you know, they want in their future. This is someone that wants to build a foundation with you. You know, you bring something to them that they never had. You bring this calming effect. You really... You know, it's a feeling that they enjoy. And they never had that before. You know, Libras are great for that. Libras are so harmonious. And they're... I always call them the... The, the Zodiac's referee. Because uh, my little girl, she's a, she's a Libra. And she's always... My boys are always fighting. And she's always the one that comes in and calms the storm. You know, she's very very intuitive when it comes to um knowing the right things to say and the right things to do um and, and and there's other libras that i know that are the same way it's just they bring this calmness because they're such calm and collect you know and it's this person needed you and when they needed you you were there and now moving forward they want to be there for you you know this is a connection that they're not they're not look. They're not walking away from. Um, I mean, they've searched and never found anyone like you till now. Now everything's come full circle. They're exactly where they want to be. You know, they're in the position that they want to be, and they they want to be around you. They love your energy, and they love you. I mean, like I said, they don't want to be your friend, just your friend. You know, we have new love. You know, the love that they have for you. It's only getting bigger. You know, this huge transformation you, 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 you gave this person the ability to have that huge transformation. You know, you allowed them to be themselves. You know, I, I feel like, like there's so much chaos before you. And it's like you come in and you just bring this calming effect. Almost like, almost like, um... You know, having that warm heated blanket on a cold winter night. You know, it's just so calm. It's just it's just a different feeling than they've ever known before. And they don't want to let it go. You know, they're not going to want to let it go. They're happy. They're happy around you. They want to be happy. You know, they're going to be happy with you. 
you're exactly what they wanted. And I feel like they've been holding it back. You know, they've been holding back these feelings that they have for you. Um, you know, like I said, I, I feel like they don't know how to tell you how much they care. They don't know how to tell you how much they want this. And they've kind of, I, I feel like the only thing that's really holding them back is the fact that they feel like they came to you like a hot mess and they're afraid you still see them that way. You know, sometimes we have this, you know, when people help us, we think, are they helping us because they feel sorry for us? Or are they helping us because they care? And I feel like that's where they were. And that's why they've kept this a secret as long as they have. Um, but they're not, they're not keeping it a secret any longer. You know, I, I feel like this person is going to, you know, they're going to want to make you an offer. They're going to want to take you out. They're going to want to spoil you. You know, they're going to want to repay what you've done for them. And they want, they're going to want to continue to repay it. You know, this is a pay it forward, you know, end game type energy. They want to keep you close. They like being in this, in this energy that they have with you. They enjoy it. It's like, like I said, it's like a warm blanket on a, on a cold winter night. And like I said, I mean that this person goes another way to make you feel good. But they're not doing it to make you feel good. They're doing it because it's generally who they are. Like when they give you the compliments, when they tell you how good you look, uh, you know, when they tell you how, how good those pants fit, they're not doing it just to make you smile. They're doing it because they feel it. They're doing it because that's how they feel and they're telling you. You know, they're, they're not going to want to have any secrets from you. And I feel like you're going to enjoy uh, the attention you get from this person. They put you on a little bit of a pedestal. But not, not, not in a bad way. You know, not, you know, you shouldn't put your partner on a pedestal to a point where they're way above you. But I, I, I feel like this person, like I said, they're going to want to spoil you a little bit. You know, they're going to want to enjoy you. And they're going to want you to enjoy them. You know, and I see a lot of happiness, you know, moving forward. Like I said, with that page of wands, I mean, there's a lot of potential here. And, and you make this person feel the way they want to feel. Now they want to make you feel, feel good too. I mean, you make them feel good. They want to make you feel good. You know, they, they, very genuine. Like I said, I, you know, they've been waiting for someone like you. And now that you're here, they're not going to let you go. They're not going to want to let you go. They're, gonna, they're not going to want you to want to go. Now with this person, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Capricorn. Um, you know, we have some Libra. Some Gemini. Sagittarius. Some Aries. Um... Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. You know, sometimes we do things for people that we don't even realize we're doing. Sometimes we mean, the reason why we mean so much to someone is because of what we bring to them. And sometimes it doesn't have to be you bringing any gifts or any, you know, give them anything. Just that good vibe energy. You know, this person is feeding off your energy. And they like it. They like how it makes them feel about you, about themselves. They're happy and they want to continue to be happy. And they're going to want you to be happy to be with them. You know, like I said, you've done more for this person than you realize. And when we have people in our life that make us feel, feel good, we want to continue that feeling. You know, it's like... It kind of reminds me of like an example. I remember my first apartment was this shitty apartment. It was terrible. Like everybody I think had a dog but me and my roommate, uh, my best friend. He was, uh, he's the one that found the place. So he moved in. We were just young. 
But I think everybody in that apartment building had dogs. They barked all the time. Uh, it always smelled like pets. Or it had this nice aroma of marijuana, which I, I smoke, I'll admit it. But I don't want my place to smell like it. You know, and it was always like strange characters coming in and out of the building. Like there was no security lock. It was just a shitty apartment. And I remember it's one of those things, it's like you didn't care what happened. You know, you were never worried. There was always parties and, you know, you weren't worried about it. But the, the relevance of the story is my next apartment, I really went out and I found this really nice apartment in this really nice building. Um, when I got there, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I loved my neighbors. So I never screwed around trying, you know, I, I with the other building, everybody else had parties. We had parties because we didn't care. You know, nobody's going to say anything to us. We weren't going to get kicked out. But when I moved to a nicer apartment and I enjoyed it, I realized I had to, you know, I had to behave myself. <laughs> I had to keep the landlord happy. So he kept me there. And that's what I mean by um, when you get to a place where it's different and you like it, you do what you can to stay there. You know, I always pay my rent on time. The other place I remember we, 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 we paid rent late a few times, but we didn't care. What's the worst they're going to do? Kick us out? It was a dump. Like I said, when I moved to the new place, I was, you know, I really I found a nice place. I had nice stuff. I never had parties because I was always, I didn't want people coming over and breaking my stuff. Um, you know, it's, uh, it was night and day. I respected where I lived. And because, you know, um, I know the landlord, he was a little skeptical at first and let me in. I had to convince him that I wasn't a partier because that, that's what he said. I, I don't want people coming in here and partying. And then I got to kick you out and then I got to do all this stuff, you know, and uh, he knew where I, the building I lived in before and he was well aware of what happened in that building. So he was a little reluctant, but he gave me a chance and I, did, I, I appreciated it and I paid it forward by being a good tenant. My rent was always on time. My place was always clean. I didn't smoke, you know, when I wanted to smoke, I smoked outside. Um, and that's the thing, when you get to a place that you enjoy, the relevance is when you get to a place you enjoy, you want to stay there. You know, a place that makes you happy. You do whatever you can to stay there. Maybe a terrible metaphor. I apologize. But I thought it was relevant. <laughs> anyway, be good. Take care. Stay safe.